Hello, my friends, and welcome to the next episode of The Guns of Tarkov. Today's gun may only be an AK in looks alone due to its heavily modified bolt carrier and bolt, but this little direct blowback submachine gun is actually the further evolution of the PP-19 by Zahn design, created out of necessity due to the unreliable nature of the iconic 64-round magazines of the Bison platform. That's right, unsurprisingly, the PP-19 Vitez is an improvement of the PP-19 Bison. Who would have guessed it? Due to the direct improvements, though, if we want to see the history of the Vitez, we have to look at the history of the Bison. The Bison began life in 1993 as a 9x18 Makarov submachine gun, with its development being headed by a design team that included the sons of iconic firearms engineers Mikhail Kalishnikov and Yevgeny Dragunov. In 1996, it was accepted into service and was actively used in numerous Russian conflicts, including the Chechen War, before ultimately being phased out by the PP-1901 Vitez in 2008. Dickhead, run. Давай, пошел! Эй, ты куда пошел? Вон он, упыль! Like I mentioned previously, the Vitez is based directly off of the Bison, which means aside from the magazine, they have the same firing systems. The bolt carrier group is a modified AK pattern bolt with the rotating bolt and gas piston removed. The gas piston is replaced with a weight which ensures that the bolt properly cycles. This weight looks very similar to the gas piston on a common AK, but the Vitez has no gas system aside from the direct blowback of the actual cartridge being fired. This system is relatively common in submachine guns and has been proven to be extremely reliable. One noticeable difference from the Vitez to the Bison is the 9x19 chambering. 
However, later versions of the Bison were chambered in 9x19, as well as 380 ACP and even 7.62x25 Tokarev. However, even though the Vityaz is an evolution of the Bison, it is no stranger to its upgrades and variants, most notably being the Saiga 9, which is also available in-game. The Saiga 9 is a semi-automatic civilian version of the PP-19 with a considerably longer barrel to adhere to Russian gun control laws. There is also a version available in the States manufactured by Kalishnikov USA called the KP-9 and KR-9 respectfully, but it is unfortunately not a direct import and is manufactured by KUSA rather than Kalishnikov Concern. However, thanks to the US gun laws being a tad bit more relaxed than Russia, you can get a short barrel and a rail dust cover for your semi-auto KP-9 just to get a bit closer to that true Russian sub-gun paradise. The Vityaz is also in the process of being officially upgraded with Kalishnikov Concern, showing off the new, and in my opinion much better looking, PPK-20 back in 2020. In-game, the Saiga 9 is readily available from the numerous scavs shooting at you with it, and is not a half-bad starter weapon. If you stay on your quests and level up quickly, the Vityaz can be picked up from proper at level 2, and is a fairly capable submachine gun early wipe. The Vityaz is a great choice due to the decent attachments available early on that allow you to craft a pretty nasty early wipe gun. However, later on, the Vityaz and Saiga are both quickly outclassed by the MPX and MP5. So I hear you back there asking, but gun nut, it fires 9mm in full auto and has a pretty great number of attachments, it's also super cheap and easy to use, shouldn't I use it over the MP5? And my answer to that is absolutely not. Get yourself that sweet H&K goodness.